Hi, I'm Kevin Edwards at Guitar Gallery on the Square in historic downtown McKinney, Texas. I've been here for three years doing guitars and lessons, and I also build the cigar box guitars. The ones that I build are three-string slide guitars. If you're looking for uh, a connection to music without the years and years of practice, a cigar box guitar is going to be along the same lines as a harmonica. I'd say it's a little more advanced than a tambourine. I definitely get attached to each one I build. I spend about 10 hours with each one. Each box kind of speaks to you a little different. Cigar boxes are kind of like artwork in their own right. Probably one of the most popular is the Macanudo. They've got a nice uh, a solid wood box. You know, if it has good acoustics, it's gonna be fine. Componently, we're basically talking about a box and a stick. Nothing too fancy. Getting the perfect fit on your notch is probably my favorite part. It's probably the most intimate part of the process for sure. After you center and do your, your inside cut, the first go round, what you want to happen is you want that to not quite fit. You can see that that doesn't quite fit. So I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time, and I just use a, a rasp or a file. And so when I'm um, coming in here, it's just a little bit at a time. Um, I try to do it evenly on both sides, removing just little teeny pieces, just piece by piece, and you can actually hear it fit nice and tight in there. It's like the magic moment. If it's too snug, you can risk cracking your, your lid. One of my signatures is what I call free-floating eyelets. As far as a tone sound goes, it gives me kind of a natural distortion. You can see the string actually has room to bend in there. And I think it gets a little bit of vibration that gives it a kind of a natural distortion. We use bolts for the nuts. You can use hardwood for the bridge parts. The most common components that actually is used on the real guitar is the tuning keys. So when it comes to making the slide, literally, it's a bottleneck slide. I use a technique with a glass etcher where I'll, I'll make my etch, I'll dip the bottle in boiling water, followed by ice water, and then uh, back in boiling water, and at that point it usually just falls off. I'd have quite a bit of removal to do here off this jagged edge. Um, or you can leave them as long as you round them out. But it's literally just spending time with them, uh, making sure that you dull all the edges. There are a lot of resources online to search for cigar box guitar blueprints. A lot of trial and error. But the cool thing is that they're not about perfection at all. They're just about the process. Even if you messed up a couple things, you still have a, uh, an instrument that makes noise, and that's the fun part. There's three tones from the major scale, the flat third, the four, and the five. These instruments are mostly tuned, open to what's called your one. But um, yeah, so like when, uh, when you're first starting, you just try to get the feel, the feel of the slide to the flat third, and then from the flat third to the four, and then from the four to the five. So those three tones are what give you the 12-bar blues. Twelve-bar blues on the um, uh, acoustic guitar um, requires quite a bit of uh, skill and chord and change knowledge. Maybe uh, you know up to years of practice. But uh, your basic twelve-bar blues starts with a, with a one chord. <laughs> then switches to the four. Then the famous sound we're all familiar with. The six string guitar obviously is a pretty well designed instrument. The cigar box guitars, the idea is not perfection. It kind of leads to the uniqueness of the twang or the Appalachian sound. It doesn't have to be perfect. Every single one sounds a little bit different. You're never going to get two cigar box guitars that sound exactly the same. When you string them up at the end, after spending so much time building them, it's very exciting to hear what it sounds like once the strings are on and it's tuned up. So, you know, if you don't want to just play the triangle, but you want to you actually bend some strings and get some notes to scream out, it's a great entry to that with minimal effort. 